holding that lantern, I felt kind of biblical. Like Jesus or... nor Florence Nightingale. The lantern fitted so precisely in the inkwell, it could only be deliberate. That might come in useful in ticklish situations. Okay, I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? chart fitted exactly into the recess on the top of the desk. Captain Frederick Ketch, 1570. Around his neck was a cross. Maybe he was a part-time pirate. It was the portrait of Captain Ketch. The portrait might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. It was a ship's bell. Two bells and all's well. Pirates were cool. What the? Who are you? I'm Emily. What were you doing in there, Emily? Hiding. What are you doing here? Uh, Grown-up stuff. Grown-ups? I'm never going to grow up. I'm not. You shouldn't be here. What's your name? I'm George. Pleased to meet you, Jaws. George. Jaws? Jeez. Make your mind up. That cross you're wearing, Emily? It's my lucky Jesus cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh-huh. Can I borrow it? Uh-uh. What would you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. Why don't you go play with Rio? I'm not allowed. How come? Because Aunt Frost says I'm not allowed out of the house. That's why, Mr. Nosy Beak. Too bad. What can you tell me about Captain Ketch? That's him on the wall, in the picture. Yeah, I know. Scary looking guy, huh? He was my great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, you have his eyes. Why don't you ask your other aunt if you can play with Rio? Aunt Mina's cuckoo. Aunt Frost says so. She says when the Lord handed out common sense, Aunt Mina was off getting double portions of chin. That Rio's a smart kid. He helped me out with Bronson. Rio is clever. He can spit ever so far. The cat made short work of the feather, tearing it into a blizzard of small pieces. I couldn't see why Rio would want the shredded quill. What do you give to a small, irritating girl who asks about everything? Try a conch. 
delicate colors, interesting shape, and when you put it to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah, why is that? Usually because you're standing next to it. Cool. Have you got one? Yeah, but I promised it to my sister. She well vexed with me. Why is your sister mad with you? Well, last night, when I got home with our supper, she went wild. Rio, she said, how come all you ever catch is puffer fish? A sick of puffer fish. What I want is tiger fish. So don't bother come back home till you catch one, boy. I don't see how I'm gonna catch no tiger fish. All I have is a fishing pole and a worm. What do you need to catch a tiger fish? One of them real fancy flies like the rich fishermen use. Hey, this is just what you need to make a fly. Thanks. Let's hope them tiger fish hungry. A deal's a deal. Here's a conch. Why don't you run along and play? Aunt Mina told me. Stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, nuts. You don't know that. I do so. I can see the whole world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. Here, I've got a conch. Would you like it? Dunno. Aunt Frost told me never to take presents from strange men. I'm not a strange man. Then why are you called Jaws, Jaws? That's a stupid name. I'm not called... Look, conch, pretty, swap for the cross, yes or no? Right, this thing's going out the window. Okay, we'll do swapsies. Ketch's cross slipped snugly into the penholder. What you doing, Jaws? I've put your cross in this little hole in the desk. Why? Impulse, mainly, with a dash of irrational intuition. Silly. Only women have intuition. The lantern cast a strong light over the desktop. The light cast a shadow of the cross. And the shadow fell precisely over a small, unnamed island shaped like a skull. Must be it. Catch his treasure island. Uh-oh. That zombie island. It's a bad place. No kidding? Well, bad place or not, that's my next port of call. Can I come too? The hell you can. I never get to leave the house. Take me to, uh, Zombie Island. In this weather? You're mad, man. The rain will keep the zombies indoors. Just say, I did meet a zombie. What would you do? There ain't no zombies on Zombie Island. At least, not anymore. It's uninhabited. Good. What do you mean, not anymore? You still want to go? I guess. Well, I ain't had no luck with them tiger fish. And with the mood my sister is in, I'll be safer with the zombies.
So, this was Zombie Island. Somehow I'd been expecting something more sinister. Come on, Rio. Let's find that treasure. No offense. I stayed right here. Oh, come on. You said yourself there's no zombies left. Yeah, but that was while there was a big pile of seawater between me and this place. All me have now is this little bit between the boat and the shore, and I'm hanging on to it. It was too high. I couldn't get up there. The cliff was steep, too steep to climb without handholds. And I couldn't find any. Rio's boat was strewn with fishing nets and tackle. It was the boat that Rio had brought me in. Could I borrow your net? Yeah, man, no problem. You planning on catching some fish? Nope. I'm after a big rock. I stumbled down dark stairwells for what seemed like forever until suddenly I found myself, wow, in an abandoned London underground station. This place must have been closed down decades ago. 